Yes, uh, Dimitri and then Sa uh, Samir. I ask you two points with regards to yes. Ukraine, if I may quickly. Uh, there was a, a, a large piece in the Newsweek several days ago on uh, U.S. instructors training Ukrainian, the so-called National Guard of Ukraine in Yavorov. And I couldn't help but notice how uh, a number of uh, U.S. Instructs, instructors referred to what's happening in, in, uh, in eastern Ukraine as using acronym ATO anti-terrorism operation that was going mm -hmm. by, by the Ukrainian government and I think is used solely by it. Is it some kind of, is it a reflection of some shift in the U.S. administration position? Is this how you essentially see things in Ukraine? It's, it's an anti-terrorist operation in your view? Uh, well, I, I think you're you're probably aware, but I'll uh, you know, highlight. You know, there is a Ukrainian law from June of 2014 um, in which you know, the Ukrainian government established uh, uh, the anti-terrorist uh, operation. So this is Ukrainian. This is Ukrainian terminology um, that underscores how they view their defensive operations. Uh, against the combined uh, Russian and separatist forces, but I don't have any uh, any further. But U.S. military any, personnel. Well, those I think it's only military. natural that uh, as they are there working with uh, Ukrainian uh, colleagues, um, that uh, you know they've probably heard the Ukrainian it's terminology so for it. Uh, I think I think our uh, I think our point of view on on what's uh, what's happening in eastern Ukraine and uh, on the uh, you know our support for the Ukrainian government uh, as they uh, they uh, fight against uh, this uh, you know, the uh, what's been happening in eastern Ukraine uh, it remains unchanged okay, Jeff. and then the other point yeah quickly uh, um, on human rights in Ukraine uh, rather the, the the Ukrainian parliament de officially declared on Monday I think it took place that uh, the, 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 the Ukrainian authorities would not be able to fully observe human rights in eastern Ukraine as um, a number of international convention demands. Uh, any response to that? Uh, we've seen reports that, uh, that the Ukrainian legislature passed a resolution um, that pur that purports to temporarily pass uh, responsibility to Russia for the protection of human rights in those areas of U Ukrainian territory uh, that Ukraine does not control, uh, which includes uh, Crimea and certain areas of, of the Donetsk and the Luhansk uh, regions. Uh, we're still reviewing the language of the resolution. I don't have uh, further uh, comment But you are uh, comfortable on it. with that language? No, I didn't say that. I said we're reviewing uh, we're re reviewing the language of the resolution. I don't have uh, further comment on it at this point. Uh, yes, uh, Samir.